Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss few important board questions on transpiration in plants. Before starting of this video, I just want to clear one thing. I am just covering few of the important board questions covered in last years, in last couple of years. I am not saying these are the very important questions. So just for the revision purpose, I am sharing this video. The very first question is that define the following terms or explain the following terms. In this chapter, few terms are very important. Like one of the term is bleeding. Bleeding, uh, you should not confuse with the term bleeding used in case of animals or in human being. And definitely in class 10 syllabus, we are not going to ask about it. Bleeding in plants be mentioned ho sakta hai, or sirf bleeding be mentioned ho sakta hai. And that bleeding is... 90% we are asking for the plants only. That is the exudation of sap from the injured part of the plant. Now, if this term sap is missing, then you will not mug at all. From the injured part, yadi nahi mention hai, toh bhi nahi hoga. Yadi aapne lik diya, exudation of sap from the plants, it is the wrong answer. Exudation of the sap from the injured part of the plant is the right answer. Now another question is, what is transpiration? Now there are lot of keywords in this definition. Loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant. Now, if you are writing only stomata, you will not mark. If you are writing only lenticels or cuticle, you will not mark. So either write down all three terms, stomata, lenticels, and cuticle, instead of aerial parts. Otherwise, you have to write the term aerial parts. So, transpiration is loss of water in the form of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plant. The next question is explain briefly or give reason of the following. Xerophytes have that their leaves modified to spines or reduced in size. First of all, let's understand what is xerophytes. Xerophytes are the plants that occurs in desert areas or in the arid areas where the scarcity of water is there. Here, the leaves modify two spines or reduced in size to reduce the rate of transpiration. Now, xerophytes are the plants occurs in the areas where there is scarcity of water jha pani already come hai. To transpiration ki wajay se pani ka nuksan rokne ke liye leaves modified to spines. Kanto mein convert ho jate hai. A higher rate of transpiration is recorded in windy day rather than on a calm day. Ab aapko yaha par do question diye gaye hai. Ya comparison diya gaya hai. Aapko comparison mein answer likhne hai. In a windy day higher rate of transpiration is recorded because wind can carry more water vapor. Wind, मतलब क्या है? चलती हुई हवा है, वो जितना भी water loss होगा in the form of water vapor, that water vapor can carried by wind easily. While on a calm day, the calm air cannot carry more water vapor. So water vapor will accumulate in that area. That's why the rate of transpiration decrease in calm day. During the transpiration and during the day, transpiration and photosynthesis are interlinked. Yes, during the day, transpiration and photosynthesis are interlinked because during the day, stomata are open to allow carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. As stomata are open, that's why the plant can lose water vapor easily. That is the reason transpiration is easily occur during the day. Or you can say transpiration and photosynthesis are interlinked. How the rate of transpiration affected on a foggy day or a windy day? This already we have discussed. The leaves of some plants roll up on a bright sunny day. Now in case of some of the plants, when the very bright sunny day is there, then to reduce the rate of transpiration, some of the leaves roll up, wo turn ho jati hain. So, this leaf aise hai, aur ye fold ho kar, kuch aise ho gai hai. 
तो इट विल रिड्यूस द सरफेस एरिया सरफेस एरिया कम होगा तो कम ट्रांसपीरेशन होगा वी कैन स्टोर सम ऑफ द वॉटर ओके नो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ हाइड्राथोर्स बी पर्टिकुलर फॉर दिस आंसर वेन एवर यू आर राइटिंग फॉर द लोकेशन बी स्पेसिफिक फॉर द आंसर द लोकेशन ऑफ हाइड्राथोर्स इज ऑन द मार्जिन ऑफ लीव्स ओके लेंटिसल्स आइदर ऑन द बार्क ऑफ द स्टेम और ऑन द वुडी स्टेम स्टोमेटा ऑन द एपिडर्मिस ऑफ लीफ here you have to mention epidermis otherwise it will not consider now the next question is draw the diagram of stomata and label the following parts so look here how you can draw the diagram of stomata this is the guard cell this is another guard cell and you have to thicken this inner wall this is cell wall so we have drawn guard cell we have drawn chlor let's draw chloroplast first draw nucleus when we have the same question for drawing uh, sorry labeling so sometimes students got confused with, uh, with the labeling of these two simple hai न्यूक्लियस हमेशा एक होगा एंड कंपेरेटिवली बिगर इन साइज एंड क्लोरोप्लास्ट देर विल बी मेनी क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड कंपेरेटिवली स्मॉलर इन साइज नाउ द लास्ट पार्ट दैट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इज एपिडर्मल सेल Now the next question is name the following an apparatus to compare the rate of transpiration that is photometer respiratory opening found on the woody stem that is lenticels the paper which is used to show loss of water dry cobalt chloride paper don't forget to mention the term dry because only dry paper can convert from blue to pink the plant in which stomata is absent stomata is absent in aquatic plant so you may write down the example hydrilla the plant with sunken stomata you may write answer nerium sunken stomata means stomata is reduced sorry differentiate between the following transpiration and gutation now generally criteria is given so i write down first transpiration and this here i will write down gutation the first point transpiration occurs through stomata lenticels and cuticle gutation occurs through hydrathoids transpiration causes cooling because water has to convert into water vapor no cooling in gutation gutation mein kabhi cooling nahi hogi kyunki water water vapor mein convert nahi hua and if the water is not convert into water vapor it means it has not taken energy from the body in this water is loose loose in the form of water vapor in this water is loose in the form of droplets i hope this much is sufficient the next question is what is the difference between lenticels and stomata so let's discuss the difference between lenticels and stomata 
lentisus occurs on bark of the stem or woody stem they occurs stomata occurs on epidermis of leaf lentisus are open day and night stomata are closed at night there is less transpiration from lentisus there is more transpiration from stomata now what is the difference between guttation and bleeding so let's discuss the <coughs> difference between guttation and bleeding guttation occurs when the transpiration is low or root pressure is high and guttation occurs through high death holes bleeding occurs through injured part of the plant in bleeding there is a loss of plant sap in guttation there is a loss of water in the form of droplets right three advantages of transpiration for plants here you need to understand you have to write down the uh, advantages for plants okay first it cools the plant in some of the book it is given it cools the atmosphere yes it cools the atmosphere but that advantage is not for the plants and here the question is for plants it removes extra water or waste from the plant and it helps in ascent of sap means because of transpiration only a transpiration pool is created which helps in the conduction of sap or the food material from root to different parts of the plant next question is write three adaptation for transpiration in plants generally we have two kind of adaptation one is morphological and one is anatomical morphological adaptations are the adaptation which occurs externally and anatomical adaptations are the adaptations which occurs internally but here the nothing is mentioned morphologically or internally so there is a choice you may write any one but you have to write down the adaptation for transpiration in plants so they may have reduced leaves leaves may converts into spines write down the complete term leaves may roll up or leaves may shade they may have thick cuticle they may have multiple epidermis okay and the third one is reduced or sunken stomata so here i have discussed the adaptation for plants now this all i want to discuss for today in next video i will discuss all the diagram based questions which is generally asked in examination for on the topic transpiration and i will discuss if the question is how uh, write down the experiment to prove the transpiration or to compare the transpiration that i will discuss in next video till then take care goodbye